24CH Weekly on Canadians.com is brought to you by Bell. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of uh, of our uh, of the work that our general manager has done, and and you know my, my part was the easy part. I I, cho I chose Mark as uh, as the general manager, but he he completely revamped the uh, the staff uh, that supports our team, um, and brought in a few key players that have uh, that have added a lot to our team as well. And so um, you know it's 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 a it's it's everyone contributes to uh, to the su success that we've had this year, uh, but there's no question it all starts with Mark, and uh, we're very pleased with uh, our selection of Mark. It was a good decision for me. I mean, I knew, uh, even though I was a rookie, I was ready for the challenge. And, you know, my mindset was always to uh, surround yourself with good people and listen to them and smart hockey people, and that's what I did. Yeah, I think, um, you know, for, uh, not only is uh, Mark doing a nice job as a general manager, his personality is, is one that fits very well with, with mine. His, his sense of values and his priorities are, uh, are, are similar to mine. Um, he's always in search of good people, and uh, uh, that's at least half the battle, is when you surround yourself with good people that, uh, that are willing to contribute and be part of it, um, your chances of success uh, increase. When I sat with Michelle and the coaching staff, that we felt if our team was healthy, we had a chance to compete for a playoff spot, so, uh, you know, that was, that was our goal, and obviously by reaching our, the playoff, was, it's one of our goals. I'm really proud of what you guys have done so far this year. Obviously, there's more to come. We, you know, we, we set our sight higher than making the playoff, but that's the first step. Well, I want to have a good team for, for many years, just, just not one year, you know. We want, I want to build, so this team's going to be good for five, six, seven years, you know, for long, ten years, for a long period of time. So, uh, and you go, you, by doing that, it's through the draft. So, uh, obviously, we have some picks coming up in the next draft. That's uh, very important for me for, you know, for this team moving forward. Goal scoring juice right there, right? Well, yeah, if you're going to build through the draft, you really have to give these kids a chance because that's where they come from. So, uh, but these kids, they, uh, they were giving a chance and they, uh, they gave results. They, they compete hard, you know, they, they prove they're the NHL hockey players. So, uh, and the same thing is going to go moving forward. We're going to give our kids a chance. It'll be up to them if they want to make an NHL career. I was lucky too as a kid, and, and uh, you know I think to, to, to my children, um, uh, the uh, as long as they understand how lucky they are to be uh, surrounded by the, the most popular hockey team in the world, um, and certainly the most popular organization here in Quebec, um, and to be that close uh, to them is is a real privilege. Well, it's an emotional game. You know, you, you have to play through emotion. And uh, one thing for me it's very important is uh, everybody likes to win, you know, but not everybody likes hates to lose. And to me, that's more important, hating to lose than win, wanting to win. So, uh, and I think this year, you know, our, our, our players are got into a sense where they hate to lose and uh, we, uh, we show that. But moving forward, that's gonna be like something that I really stress. Uh, as the Montreal Canadian, we set our goals higher than, you know, making the playoff. Obviously, it's the first step. But like every other team, you know, we have an ultimate goal. So uh, we're not there yet. We still have ways to go, but we're working towards that. It all starts with making the playoffs. And this year, uh, we've, had a really, we've had a really good start. And uh, we're probably, uh, probably the first time in, in, in many, many years that we've made the playoffs with eight or nine games remaining in the schedule. So the players have been in a position now for, for a week and a half at least uh, where they can, they can think about uh, the playoffs. They can prepare their, their uh, mentally and physically for the playoffs. Um, that's not something we've had for a few years. The, uh, the, players, uh, the players last year and, and the year before um, actually, last year, no, but the year before last, um, you know, you're fighting for, for the seventh or the eighth spot up until the very last game, and uh, it just, it, just it, it provides for a little breathing room, which is nice. I knew we had a good team, uh, but, you know, we went, you know, for above my expectation, but, uh, you know, like I said, we still have ways to go. Well, I think every year we have to dream of, uh, of going the distance. I don't think anybody expected, expected us to do as well as we've done so far this year. Um, but uh, I, I also think that uh, when, when Mark joined the team um, as the general manager, um, uh, people had a lot more confidence right off the bat. 
24CH was brought to you in part by Coors Light, proud partners of the Montreal Canadiens.